Hey guys, Wolf Wangler here. I'm um, going to talk a little bit about modifying a set of solid roller lifters to get a little bit more oil at low speed up to the push rods. Um, the reason you're not getting a lot of oil up to the push rods at low RPMs is because the oil is coming through the lifter gallery and the little hole that feeds the push rod over here needs a little bit more RPM till it's got enough oil behind it. So the trick is that you cut a little tiny notch between the lifter gallery feed here and the push rod feed. A little tiny notch. Um, I hope you can see it here. I'll try and get you a little better view. Um, that notch is cut. It's about 20 thousandths wide and it's about 12 thousandths deep. It's not very much at all. Um, if you're going to do it by hand, I would suggest using the red um, Dremel abrasive wheels. Uh, wait till it's worn down about half the size so the wheel is pretty small. And then even sharpen the edge of it a little bit on a stone so you've got a, a sharp edge. And then when you lay your Dremel in, if I can figure this out by hand here, you're laying your Dremel in and it's not getting up beyond the hole, you're just cutting that little notch from the feed hole um, down to the gallery hole. Um, you can do it by hand. I would get an old lifter and practice a little bit so you got the feel for how much pressure it takes. It doesn't take very much pressure. Um, I've heard a couple guys say you can use the vibrating em engraving pen that you can get from Harbor Freight. I haven't tried that. I don't imagine it would be quite deep enough, but um, it's a very small hole that you're cutting. And the way I did mine, I've got Brodick's heads on my car, so there's a space that goes right down into the lifter valley next to um, number three cylinder. So I could actually just reach down in there with the magnet and pull the lifters out, notch them a little bit, put them back in, run it, see how it works, notch them a little bit more, just trial and error until you get it the way you want it. Um, but the trick is, once you go too far, you got to get a new lifter, so you go real slow, and um, it'll work. And I'll tie in a little video of a couple of rocker arms. One's been cut and one hasn't at idle, and you can see the way the oil flows. That's what I got. Go easy. I just laid this valve cover down, but you get the idea here. It's just an old Moroso cover that cut a little notch, and you're able to bend the top back enough so you can look down inside and see the valve springs and the rocker tips, and see how everything's oiling, see how everything's moving. Um, a handy little deal to have a valve cover <clears throat> like that one.